Hey guys, it's me, Lady T. I had to come out and go to the store. A lot of pain I'm in right now, but I had to go to the store. When I tell you I haven't been outside in so long, like coming outside looking at things is really depressing doing this social distancing and this quarantine stuff. When I tell you it is you it's some cars out here, but the thing that's getting me is that the gas stations are shutting down. The gas stations are shutting down. Like, some of the major gas stations here in Philadelphia are literally shut down. With boards on the windows and, and crime scene tape blocking it off so nobody can come in there and steal gas, which I don't know how you could anyway. But when I tell you it is crazy out here. It's crazy out here. You guys pray. I'm going to pray. I can't keep a mask on too long because I start passing out. Literally not falling all the way out, but close to it. Um, it's just crazy out here. It's almost like being in a, a sci-fi movie. I was talking to somebody yesterday, and we were saying that. It's like, you ever look at the Twilight Zone? That's what it looked like. Like, you have entered the twilight zone. <laughs> oh, Lord have mercy. And I'm, I'm, a, I'm a faith, a woman of faith, and I believe in God, and I trust God. But when I tell you, I don't want to be out here in these streets. I do not want to be out here in these streets. When you see everything boarded up and, you know, everything closed, and the couple of places you can go to, the lines are so long you don't even want to you know do that you don't want to even be there usually i'll get some dunkin donuts coffee if i go out the line is so long it's backed up so far that you can't even wait i'm not waiting in line to get coffee i've got to go back home but i have to stop at the grocery store right quick and get a couple of items and that's why i'm out but when i tell you it's deserted out here man it's almost depressing just to see that it's, you know, it's, cars are still riding around, but when I tell you the gas stations are boarded up, I ain't never seen nothing like that. The gas stations are boarded up, but you have to come out to do something. You have to come out and go to the store, you know, because you need things or whatever, but when I tell you when I tell you, it is deserted out here. The stores where you go, look, I wish I could show you all this gas station right here. The part of the store where you go in to get convenience items, you know, all of those parts are closed. You can't even go in there to get a drink, you know, a, a icy or something. You can't even get any of that because everything is literally shut down. Like, I'm getting a complete headache just by riding here looking at what's going on i do trust god my faith is truly in god but i have never i'm 55 years old and in my 55 years i don't remember anything like this at all where everything is just shut down like except for the grocery stores and some places of business but the little mom and pop stores they closed up the nail salons, they're closed up. The doctors are calling for appointments. I had two doctor's appointments. They keep calling me, asking me over the phone, you know, asking you questions to find out if you've been anywhere. Have you have you been exposed? You know, do you have the corona or the COVID, whatever? And they're calling you because they're telling you not to even come into the doctor. We're going we're gonna to do our um, meeting on the phone. I'm like, well, you can't examine me on the phone. I don't. I'm not even going through all of that. You want to examine me on the phone? You can't do that. Um, so needless to say, my doctor's appointments have been canceled um, because of the social distancing. And I get it. I get it because as bad as I feel, I want to go to the doctor. But the other side of me was like, no, you ain't going to go there. You don't know who's up in there. No, you're not getting. Mm -mm. So I'm just saying that to say this. Everybody be careful, be safe, 
if you don't have to go out, don't go out because you just don't want to get sick. You don't want to get sick. And it's not worth it. Promise me when I, believe me when I tell you it's not worth it. This is where, I'm, if I could turn the camera around, I just want to show you. This is how the streets look. This is how the streets look. And off and on, you might get a surge of traffic, but it's not like, it's not that much. And this is what it looks like. This is what it looks like. I'm trying to tell you, like, this stuff is, is weird because you know that this is the time that school would normally be in. And all of these parking places would be full. People have left. Schools are closed. It's just like so weird. Like that's like being in a movie. It's like being in a movie where everything was deserted and you felt like you're the only person outside. It's just so weird. I can't even explain it. How is it in you guys' city? Tell me, how is it in you all city? Because, baby, when I tell you, these streets are deserted. And I'm telling you, these streets be humping. These streets on a normal day, these streets be full. And I'm telling you, look at this. Look, look at this. Now you will see a couple of people out here her. She don't even have a mask on. Trash in the middle of the street. Oh, Lord. I'm just saying, that's what's going on out here in these parts. And, uh, um, I hope you guys are staying safe. I hope that everything's going well with you guys. But I'm about to go to the store. Get some goodies. You know, some groceries. And this store right here, this is right, this, I live right here, not at this store. I live right here, this store that I'm facing right now, this is where they sell alcohol, they sell beer, they sell all kind of stuff here. Um, they sell, um, you know, food in there and everything. And that's even closed. These stores be closed up. I ain't even fronting with you, they be closed. <laughs> Well, somebody around here, they got the parking space that I'm supposed to have. So now I got to find somewhere else to park. And I do not like parking on my street. At all. I don't feel like being out here at all, but you got to do what you got to do. All right, guys, I'm going to holler at y'all later. Be safe. God bless. Talk to y'all soon.